Hey guys, we're back with another Blu-ray limited edition unboxing and today I'm super glad that Crunchyroll decided to continue the limited editions for My Hero Academia. In this case, season 5 is called My Villain Academia, which I've heard that they butchered this season, uh, which kind of sucks because I heard that the manga version of this season is actually very good. So I'm a little worried, but I'm still going to go ahead and pick them up because I already have the rest of them. As you guys can see in the background, we have we have the limited editions for seasons one through four, and I wasn't about to stop here at season five. At the end, I will rank what my favorite limited editions are for My Hero Academia, so stay tuned for that. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into this season five limited edition. So for My Villain Academia, they actually decided to go with a pitch black background. As you guys can see there, it is pitch black, very smooth surface, and then you do have the villains here in the front embossed, and they do have some nice glossy finish to them. I actually am quite a fan of what they did here. So that's the front on, and the spine, they did deviate a little bit from what they usually do for the spines, as you guys can see back there for season four. That's generally how all of the other ones look. Here they just put a yellow block, but still looks fine. I will show you guys how this one looks with the other limited editions when they do, when they are on the shelf. And then on the back, we have all of the heroes with the same type of design as the front. We've got a pitch black background with our characters in a embossed and glossy finish. So it looks very good. Uh, I personally like the way the front looks just because we have Toga there on the front. I love Toga. She's, she's probably one of my favorite characters in My Hero Academia. Now on the bottom, we have Crunchyroll.com, TV14. And on the top, it pretty much looks the same as the spine. Now before we get inside the limited edition, let's quickly take a look at this. It pretty much just tells you what we're going to get inside. And then for the Blu-ray information, this is part two and it contains 12 episodes. And we do get a surround sound for the English audio, stereo for Japanese. So now let's go ahead and see what we get inside of this. All right, so we got three items here. This is the flimsy cardboard box. This is just a spacer for the uh, season five part one, which I actually don't have. I picked up this limited edition for part two before I picked up part one, but uh, you can remove this from the box set and then insert part one so you can have all of the season together. But yeah, this contains some of the extras. Here is the Blu-ray case, which we will take a quick look at this first. So here's the front, pretty much matches the limited edition. Here is the back. We got some more images with uh, Himiko and Shigaraki there. Taking off the slip cover, we get the same artwork on the inside, same on the back. We have some nice disc art though, that we get a nice image there of Shigaraki. And then for the other Blu-ray discs and DVD discs, we have pretty much all of the villains, all the main villains here. Very nice. And for the background art, we have still images from each of the episodes, which looks very cool. Now this art book is very nice. I love the design of the front cover here. We have a white background for the heroes, but all the color is kind of washed out on all of our characters. It looks kind of almost like black and white. It looks very cool. Uh, maybe this kind of signifies that something dark or something bad does happen to the heroes here in this season. And then here's the back, we got the villains. And again, I just love the way the look of the villains more than the heroes, in my opinion. I just think they look cooler. There also seems to be like some sort of silhouette. I don't know if that's of some sort of character. I'm honestly not too sure. Um, we don't really see it here on the front, but we do see it somehow here on the back. And inside, I will just kind of flip through this so you guys can get an idea of what you get inside of this art book. All right. So that's it. Now let's get into the extras, which this is honestly very light. Um, I don't think we're gonna be getting much in here. Oh, wow. Yep, not even any art cards. Wow, this is the so this is all we get. We get, uh, what is this called? Like some sort of broidered patch with My Villain Academia. And we get a little keychain for Ochako. Uh, so yeah, honestly, not the best extras for a limited edition. I honestly prefer it when they include very like nice art cards. So uh, not too happy with this, but I do really like the art book. I like the limited edition box set for around 60 bucks. I think it's worth it. If you can find it for 40 to $50, that's even better. But I like to pick these up day one because these do tend to go out of stock and not available pretty fast um, from my experience. Honestly, can't really find any of the older ones except for season four. Uh, so the latest season, 
I think you can still actually find that one. But any of the other ones, seasons one through three, can't find those anywhere anymore, at least for retail. Those were my thoughts for this season five limited edition box set. Now let's go ahead and rank these box sets in order from one to six, because for some reason, season two got two limited editions. All right, so here's what the spines look like, and they are out of order because I did put them in the order of my least favorite to most favorite but i did i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how the season five does look a little bit out of place um i would have liked it if it didn't match at least this little box right here matched the same as all of the other box sets but going into it starting off my least favorite box set is gonna be season four i just really dislike the artwork that they decided to choose here uh this includes the this season includes the stuff with overdrive and to me I think they should have included Overdrive instead of this guy right here, which honestly was very forgetful. And I wasn't a big fan of this storyline after the second part of season four. So yeah, this is my least favorite box set. Uh, next up, the rest of these are all good boxes. I do enjoy all of them, but uh, this is just the order that I placed them in. So coming in at number five, we have season two, part one. Probably one of the more simplest covers, uh, which is why I put it on this spot. Uh, the front is very simple and the back just has all of the class kind of just posing for a picture. So nothing too exciting here on this limited edition. And at number four, things started to get a little bit crazy here. We have the cover looks a little bit more dynamic. And then the back is what I really enjoy here. We get some images of the villains. We got uh, Shigaraki and Stain, which uh, this season contains one of the best fights in My Hero Academia with Stain versus uh, Deku and the other their heroes. So yeah, really do enjoy this box set. Both the front and the back look very nice. And at number three, we have season one. This is just a very iconic image right here. It looks very nice. It all might do in his iconic pose and all of the main cast of heroes here in front of him. So I do really enjoy this box set. And again, all of these have that same sort of glossy and embossed finished, which looks awesome. And then here on the back, we have another iconic image of All Might. So yeah, one of the better of all of the limited editions here. Now in at number two, I actually put in the most recent box set because I love me my villains and I love the fact that they put my villain Academia. I like the style of this. I like the pitch black background. So the only thing I don't really like is the spine. But other than that, I love the image on both the front and the back. So yeah. This one made it into my number two spot. And in at number one, we have the season three box set, which we can probably all agree, uh, this is where My Hero Academia peaked. Uh, this fight right here between All Might and All For One was crazy. Uh, not gonna lie, it, it made me shed a tear just because of how hype this freaking fight was. And the fact that they put these two in the front of this limited edition is the main reason why this is my favorite box set. So yeah, very nice. I actually also really like the purple background and the streaks, which uh, they I think they included those streaks in all of the limited editions, except for the most recent uh, season five limited edition. Uh, so I hope they do bring that back with the next season. I understand why they didn't do it for this one because it's my villain academia and they just wanted to go with that pitch black background, but I do like the look of the streaks. And here's the back again, very dynamic, very nice image here on the back as well. So, yep, that's how I rank my box sets. You know, if you agree, how would you rank these? Let me know in the comment section down below. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next video.